like yummy pancakes. Like yummy pancakes. Like delicious gluten-free pancakes. Like delicious gluten-free pancakes. We basically have done nothing all weekend because both of us have not been feeling very good. The last couple days have been really, really boring because I've been stuck in bed. Today was like literally the first day that I think I actually left the house. Not only left the house, but I think like I got out of bed for an extended period of time. <laughs> I like have not been out to out of my bed, our bed, for the last like two days. Yeah. So, um, it's nice to be out of bed. So I'm gonna make some dinner, and I'm hoping they're really good. I'm Let's sure see. they will be. I might add some cinnamon to them to get a little, little more flavor. I don't know. I honestly have no idea if you're like this, but when I'm sick, I just have to have like kind of like a lot of comforting type things. I need to have like the bed out here and good movies on TV, just like silly fun, feel good movies and things like that. And then, um, I don't know, like breakfast, breakfast for dinner just sounds so good. It's kind of like comfort food, but not really at the same time because it's still breakfast. Um, but I don't know, I don't know if you're like me, um, but like I just, I just want to be really comfortable and kind of be left alone. So. I want comfort food. And Danielle wants comfort food. She really wants to make sure that she has comfort food. So I'm gonna make her some breakfast for dinner. Cause I'm awesome. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Cause I'm the best husband ever. <laughs> what do you think of the pancakes? I haven't tried it yet. Mm. How's the sausage? I have not tried it yet. I'm gonna go eat dinner and um, enjoy it and hang out with my wife. It's been a weird few days. Just like being sick. I don't get, I just don't get sick often. And it was weird how much this took me out for a couple days. Like it really, really took me out for a couple days. I don't typically lay in bed um, for like 48 hours. I'm on my way to go pick up a couple things and then um, I'm still kind of getting over getting sick. So I'll probably go to bed sometime soon. Okay, so I was just in the gas station and like the coolest thing kind of happened. I guess it's not, maybe I just find it really cool, but um, I was in there and there were a couple kids that just walked in and they just got done with football practice. And obviously they were like, I don't know, like 10 maybe or so. Um, and it just kind of brought back uh, memories of when I was a kid, just playing sports and doing things like that. I played a lot of sports. I know I don't look like it. I'm kind of fat now. Wah, wah. I played a lot, a lot of baseball when I was a kid. Actually, ended up playing in high school until I got injured, and that's my sad story. I got hurt and couldn't play anymore, and that's why I got fat. And that's why I got into music. Who am I kidding? Playing music's way more awesome, even though I love baseball. Oh, that doesn't look fun. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. <clears throat> All right, now it's on my way home. I got some uh, delicious organic, I don't know if it's delicious or not. I'm sure it probably is. Organic um, macaroni and cheese. That's what Daniel wanted. Poor girl, she's super sick. I think she might have it a little worse than I did. I don't know. I don't know, because I was so out of it, I don't really remember completely how I was feeling. So it's totally like a repeat of a couple days ago when Danielle was taking care of me when I was sick. I just went and got her a, a milkshake from, from Chick-fil-A because I'm an awesome husband. This whole week's vlog, like, session is going to be about us being sick because it's like, you can't have one person get sick and not the other. I feel so bad. I feel bad that I got her sick. I was actually thinking about, I don't know if any of you do this, but I do this a lot. Actually, I pretty much do it just about any time it happens, but there's that car accident that I filmed earlier. Um, and a lot of times what will happen is my family doesn't live very far from here. So anytime I'm home, it's just kind of like, mm, that's a little weird. So I will actually call my family just to make sure that everybody is okay. Do any of you do that? Am I the only one who does that? Maybe I'm the only one who does that. I feel a little bit better knowing that they're okay, even though they probably have nothing to do with any kind of car accident or anything along those lines that's gone on right around our house. <laughs> I'm sick. It's time to go to bed. Uh, it's been 
<clears throat> it's been a long day. We had like a random just freak power outage. Took out all the street lights and all that stuff. Right in the middle ed of editing, you guys. I was editing. So anyway, um, we're gonna go to bed and uh, we're gonna get this loaded for you guys. Um, so, but a couple things that um, you can do actually is right about right here. There's gonna be a clip, little little button you can click that you can go to yesterday's video and. Uh, yeah, we would love it if you guys would go watch that video and just kind of enjoy that and do fun things like that. So, um, anyway, it's going to be right about there. should be there right now, so you should just, just click it. Just, I don't, I don't want to stay here all night, so if you could just click that, 